Johnny Greenwood is the lead guitarist and keyboardist of the alternative rock band Radiohead. He attended Abington School in Abington near Oxford, England, where he met the future band members. Greenwood was the last to join, first playing keyboards, but soon becoming lead guitarist. Here is a list of some of the effects pedals Greenwood has used throughout his career. The pedals will also be featured in the order in which they could be placed on a pedal board. For fuzz, Greenwood has been known to use the ZVFX Fuzz Probe and is featured on the official ZVEX artist page. He has also used the DoD 440 Envelope Filter, which is a pedal that has frequently been seen on his pedal boards. For overdrive pedals, Johnny has liked using the Boss SD-1 Super Overdrive and later switched to the Boss OD-3 overdrive pedals. However, the origin of Johnny's heavy distorted tone is his Marshall Shredmaster. Next up would be the Boss FV300H and the Ernie Ball volume pedal. The Boss FV500H is a more recent version that could be purchased today. Volume pedals are commonly found in two locations, either at the start of a signal path or following overdrive, distortion, and boost pedals. Placing the volume pedal first mimics the volume pot on your guitar, lowering the volume and cleaning up the sound. When used after the overdrive and distortion pedals, the volume pedal acts as a master volume. This will only dampen the output it has no effect on the essence of the distortion or the level of saturation. The next pedal on the list would be the Electro Harmonix EH7700 Polychorus. In a photo of one of Johnny's boards, a vintage Polychorus by Electro Harmonix can be seen. The Electro Harmonix Small Clone would be a similar sounding alternative since the EH7700 is no longer available. He's also been known to use the Demeter TRM-1 Tremulator pedal. Johnny has always been a fan of EHX pedals and like many other players has also been known to use the Electro Harmonix Small Stone Phase Shifter pedal. As far as chorus, tremolos and phasers, many players like to put these types of modulation pedals before their distortion pedals. However, others like to use those same pedals after the distortion pedals, and they're okay with the clipping you get from the distortion pedals hitting those devices. Again, there is no right or wrong way to place these pedals in terms of your signal path. It is usually recommended to have reverb pedals to be the last pedals in the signal chain. Typically, people like to put delay first, then reverb. This would be the most common. Johnny liked using the Boss RV3 Digital Reverb Delay, the Boss RE202 Space Echo, and the Strymon Timeline. 